the ubiquity of uh, DMT, in fact, all of the psychedelics, we have uh, like medicines, like penicillin, for example, that uh, plants and uh, life forms produce these very sophisticated chemicals which affect us in, in all these ways. So uh, that is a huge mystery. There's even in outer space, right, that there are large molecules fl floating around in, in, in space. So um, for me, it gives me kind of a problem with the uh, creation theory called Darwinian evolution. Uh, I think that life seems to be more mysterious than uh, evolution can explain. But if you accept evolution as the explanation of how things came about as they are, then uh, there would be um, an image of something like uh, God or some brilliant creator that would produce, let's say, uh, psilocybin that could uh, then give us the gift of language. So there's a chicken and an egg problem in the evolutionary model in that the more intelligent things come along earlier in the scale and then we are more or less dragged up from the mud at a very late stage after these brilliant chemicals have been around in these smart plants like the mycelial mat for uh, all the time, even it's older than oxygen. That the planet was produced with the intelligent included that the seeds of language were already there. Mm -hmm. That we just had to evolve the brain size in order to have something happen when we ate those really smart chemicals. <laughs>